So in the last two videos, we've described some functions that let us plot different signals. One of those functions is a unit step function, and the other function was a ramp function. In this example, we're going to kind of put these two pieces together to plot a desired signal that is a linear combination of step functions and ramp functions. So in this example, we're going to look at this signal right here. This is something you're often handed in kind of a undergraduate linear systems class, a signal of the form x of t and then it's equal to a linear combination of steps and ramps. In this particular example, the one that we want to plot is comprised of five different pieces. The first three parts are all um, time-shifted ramp functions. So they turn on at different times, they have different slopes. And then the last two components of this signal are unit step functions that turn on at certain times and have different amplitudes. So we are actually going to plot this signal by constructing each one of its parts individually and then adding them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to get each of these individual pieces constructed. So this ramp right here, this is a ramp that has a slope of two, so I put a two here, and it actually turns on at time t equals negative two. So we'll query the ramp function with a negative two, so this is what I call part one. And then you can notice I already constructed my time vector t, it's just a linear vector from time minus 5 to 5, and I just gave it a whole bunch of points to make it plot nice and smooth. So I've created part 1 of this signal, and then the second part is also a ramp function. It has a slope of negative 5, and it turns on at time 0. So slope of negative 5 turns on at time 0. So that's the second component of the signal. And then the third component is also a ramp function. It turns on at time 2.5, and it has a slope of 3. So slope of 3 times 2.5 is that part. And now the unit steps. The unit steps, we just need to know what time they turn on. This one turns on at time t equals to 4. So I call it that. And then this one, be careful, this is a time-reversed unit step function. So it's on for all time and then turns off. It turns off at time negative 3. And then it has an amplitude of negative 2. So I actually put the negative 2 out front to do the multiply. I pass in a negative t. I pass in the time reversed time vector and then the time that it turns off is actually negative 3 because this is time reversed already we don't negate the argument so that is the fifth component so I have each of these individually constructed I can now add all them together to construct the final signal x of t and then what I've done here is I've actually created two different plots this first plot I'm going to plot each of the components individually so this blue line should be a ramp that turns on at time minus 2 and it has a slope of 2 and it does or 0 that it turns on and ramps up with a slope of 2. The red line should turn on at time 0 and have a slope of minus 5 so it's a ramp that was 0 and then turned on at time 0 and has a slope of negative 5 so by the time it goes over 1 it's gone down to negative 5 so that looks good. The third piece here that I plotted in black is a ramp function that should turn on at time 2.5 and have a slope of 3, and indeed it does. Right here at time 2.5 it starts ramping up, so that looks good. The cyan colored component is a unit step that should turn on at time um, 4, so it is 0, and then here at time 4 you can see it tick up to a value of 1 and then it is on, so that's that part. And then finally, the time reversed unit step, it is on with a value of negative 2, right? It's supposed to have a value of negative 2, it's on, and then at time negative 3, it turns off and goes to 0, and is 0 for all time. So these are all the components that we should be seeing. Once they've been all added up and stored in the vector x, our final plot looks like this. So this final plot here in blue is just the sum of all of those pieces. So this is what x of t looks like. It's just a linear combination of different time-shifted and amplitude-weighted ramps and unit step functions. Again, you can download this example script and all the supporting functions on my website, so go check that out. And Hopefully this was a useful example for you and hope helps you with your linear systems classes plotting these types of signals.